Okay, we're back live here at the Velocity Conference in Santa Clara Live. This is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE's flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. Um, John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. And our next guest is uh, Ofer Bengal, the CEO of Garantia Data. He's here in theCUBE. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, it's great to be here. We are at the Velocity Conference, which is really the intersection of um, infrastructure and application development, kind of in a holistic way, full stack, new technologies. Um, so first, tell us a little about your company and what you guys are doing here at Velocity. Well, we deal with a new type of database which took the developer's community by storm. This is a NoSQL in-memory database called Redis. Redis is very, very fast, you know, it, it, it processes hundreds of thousands transactions per second at sub-milliseconds, and this is all about performance. So, velocity is the right, right place to be when you deal with Redis. So, why, why Redis, first of all, is taking everyone by storm. We use it, um, it's great technology. Um, why, why, why is it so popular? Well, Redis has many attractive uh, data types and commands, which are very useful in many, many use cases today for almost any application. So that's why you know developers really love it. The in-memory database, so we cover a lot of storage, SSDs and infrastructure. Um, SSDs have brought up um, with Flash a whole nother level of caching, whole nother level for storage area networks, really exploded open source scale out. Um, but people still need real fast, <laughs> low latency data. No doubt. You and know, when that's where in-memory comes. But developers don't need to be storage gurus to do that. So, is that an area that you guys are targeting? Yes, definitely. The, the basic idea is to provide developers what they need in terms of database needs without all the hassle of you know, operating those databases. So with our products, which, with our product, which is called the Redis Cloud, right now this product is provided as a fully managed hosting service over various clouds and platforms as a service. So with this product, the user does not need to do anything. Simply send your data and forget about it. We take care of scalability, high availability, stabilizing performance, and all the ops. So one of the things about the web that's really challenging is it's asynchronous, right? So persistence is a really big thing. How do you guys look at that challenge? Okay, we have built uh, a whole suite of high availability provisions for Redis. First of all, you can, with a click of a button, with a checkbox, you can replicate your data set within the same data center. Uh, and when a node fails, and this is something which happens in the cloud almost every day, we immediately uh, switch your data to, a, to, the, to the replica, and uh, you are up and running without any, any problem whatsoever. So this is one thing. We recently, last week, we announced another layer, which is multi-AZ replication, which means that you can, with the click of a button, replicate your data set to another data center. So if the entire data center fails, we immediately use the replica in the other data center, the backup replica, and again, you are up and running without any interruption. This really is a value proposition that's is a dream scenario for developers when dealing with the cloud. I mean, because exactly. your alternative is to provision bare metal, exactly. load Linux, <laughs> have a systems administrator. This is crazy. I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, and queuing too is another, another issue. I mean, how, you know, so if I'm going to manage large volumes of data, so to say that um, my site becomes popular or my application becomes popular because uh, someone shared it virally, I want to have that queuing and that persistence. That's really, really important. I might not have the time to provision a new server, a new database. So exactly. what you're saying is, if I get this right, with Redis Cloud, I can spin up and dynamically handle that, those kinds of replication and persistence. Moreover, you know, basic Redis. Did I get that right? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. You know, uh, native Redis, the open source, is basically uh, limited in scalability. You cannot grow beyond the single master server. Now, the community is working for a while on something which is called the Redis Cluster, which is supposed to solve all that. However, this is taking for a very long time. With our Redis Cloud, you can grow your data set from megabytes to gigabytes to terabytes and even more, and all that is done in a fully automated manner without, you do not need to deal with nodes, clustering, scaling, stuff like that, and while supporting all the data types and commands of Redis, which is really, really unique. Yeah, I mean, I got to say, you know, one of the challenges with the cloud is orchestration. Right, and so that's one element. So automation has been a big problem for folks 
on premise, on large enterprises, and, and application developers. The other challenge has been real time. So a lot of apps need to have real time, like Node.js or things of that nature. So how does a developer, I'm a developer and I'm, I want real time, I want persistence, and I want to have the flexibility to, to, to just push code and everything take care of itself. How does Redis help me there? Well, Redis, as I said, is the fastest data store available today, much faster than anything else. Like, you know, people talk today about HANA, SAP HANA. Uh, uh, Redis is uh, 10x, you know, in terms of speed. We are talking about hundreds of thousands of transactions at sub-millisecond latencies. Whenever you want performance, whenever you need performance, the best database for that is Redis, no doubt about it. Okay, so I got to ask you the question. First of all, big fan, really glad you're here on theCUBE, so we like, we like what you're doing. Um, for the folks that don't understand what you guys are doing, or, or, Redis, or new to Redis, why is it so good? Why is it so popular, and what, what benefits does it provide the developer and say a business that wants to use that program? I would say use cases, use cases, use cases. <laughs> so whenever, name whenever, a few. Whenever you need <laughs> uh, job management, for example, you know, signaling inside your, your, your application. So platforms such as side, Sidekicks, you know, et cetera, use Redis. Whenever you need uh, uh, stuff like uh, uh, Twitter type functionality, you know, followers, et cetera, you have a built-in clone within Redis for that. Whenever you need uh, you know, uh, fast analytics, there is nothing better than Redis. Caching, you know, uh, Redis is replacing uh, Memcache totally today in new apps. Uh, page ranks, post ranks, you know, stuff like that. All these are great use cases for Redis. And if you, you know, in any one of those, Redis is the best for that. Yeah. Well, congratulations, really like what you guys are doing. Um, and you're at the show here. What are you showing here at Velocity? Again, congratulations on your success, well-deserved. Redis is, is really becoming the standard. What, what are you guys doing here at Velocity, and what are you guys showing? We demonstrate, uh, first of all, the service. We demonstrate the performance. You can, you know, if you have a minute, drop over to our booth next door here, and we show the great performance. You know, we are showing hundreds of thousands of transactions, you know, with large databases in uh, sub-millisecond uh, latencies. This is, you know, this is real life. And we are demonstrating our high, high availability with multi-AZ replication and instant auto failover. Okay, well we are here with Ofer Bigal with the Granita system, Guarantee system data, um, Redis Cloud, great product. Congratulations on your success. Thanks for coming inside theCUBE. This is the Velocity Conference. This is the kind of technology, folks, that Velocity is about. Velocity is the intersection between a, almost a systems view of user experience, user design with cloud and infrastructure or DevOps, whatever you want to call it, we'll figure out a word for it, but it's really kind of coming together, I guess we call it Velocity Conference. This is the modern infrastructure that a lot of the web scale companies or hyperscale companies are using, and developers. Developers who are small scale today will be will be big scale, we'll use things like Redis. This is what it's all about. This is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE's flagship program. Go to youtube.com slash siliconangle to watch the videos. Go to siliconangle.com to get, see the blog posts and coverage. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break.